In this lesson, you'll learn how to draw a line with the line segment tool. You'll learn what a path is composed of, and then you'll see how to edit the lines you create using the reshape tool. With the latest version of Illustrator CC open, if you want to follow along, open this document from the downloadable practice files for this tutorial. With the file open, choose View, Fit Artboard and Window so you can see all of the artwork. Start by selecting the Line Segment tool in the Tools panel on the left, then come out to your design. You'll start by adding some branches and a trunk to this tree. To create a line, you simply click and drag in the direction you want the line to go. So click in the tree and drag down. Notice that you can move in just about any direction to create a line. The gray box with the distance and the angle you see is what's called a measurement label and can be really useful when you're trying to be more precise. When the line looks something like this, release the mouse. In Illustrator, this line is called a path. A path is made up of at least two anchor points. You can see them here on the ends of the line, and a line segment connecting those anchor points. We can create all kinds of paths in Illustrator. Straight paths or lines, curved paths, and a whole lot more. After drawing this line, you can easily edit it without having to switch tools. Move the pointer over the bottom end of the line, click and drag, and you'll see that you can move one of the points. As you drag, press the shift key and the line will be constrained to 45 degrees. When it's straight up and down, release the mouse button and then the key. To change how thick the line is, you can change what's called the stroke weight in the properties panel to the right of the document. Change the stroke weight to two by clicking the up arrow over here. Now you'll create a few more lines for the branches of the tree. Position the pointer over the line you drew, somewhere in the tree, Click and drag to create a small line like you see here. Smart guides, those magenta lines you see, will help let you know when objects snap to each other and align to each other. Draw one more so that you have two. Now you'll make a copy of a line and move it below the buildings. Select the selection tool and click to select the first line you drew, the trunk of the tree. Choose Edit, Copy, and then Edit, Paste. Position the pointer just off of one end of the line, and when you see a little rotate arrow appear, click and drag to rotate the line. We want this line to be straight across horizontally. It's going to go right below these buildings. So when the line is perfectly horizontal, release the mouse button. Drag the line from this center point to below the buildings down here. So that you can make the line longer, drag the right end of the line to the right, and you'll see those magenta lines again called smart guides. They indicate that you're just making the line longer, essentially extending it. With the line still selected, change the stroke weight in the properties panel on the right to 16 by choosing 16 from the menu. Now you'll change the color of the line by changing the stroke color. Click the stroke color in the properties panel. Click this swatches button to make sure that you see saved colors that come with the document and choose an orange. Finally, you'll reshape a line. In this case, take a straight line like one of the tree branches and make it curved. We'll use the reshape tool to do that. Click to select one of the smaller lines in the tree. Choose View, zoom in a few times so that you can zoom in closer and make it a little bit easier to see. In the Tools panel on the left, press and hold down on the Scale tool and select the Reshape tool. Come to that small line you selected, click and drag on the line to make it curved. So that you can see everything in your design, choose View, Fit Artboard and Window. Now that you know how to create and edit lines, you can explore creating paths by adding to these buildings. Maybe try adding some lines to this window and even changing the stroke color and the stroke weight. To save a copy of this file, choose File, Save as, and make sure you rename the file so that the original file is untouched. 